Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time! The second time I'm trying to record this fucking episode. Apparently, this is just the most problematic fucking Let's Play I've ever fucking done. Sorry to disturb you. At this time, I must teach you to count beans. Please press A. Please press R. There's beans. Fuck you. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that one. You don't wanna know why? Because it's fucking dumb. Why will you explain to me how I can count beans? Fuck you. I'm 19 years old, nearly 20. Can't you can't say we can't, you can't say anything about me. These guys work the same as normal troops. When they blink, they attack Mario. When they when they don't blink, they attack Luke like that. Sometimes they attack twice, though. That's one difference they have. They have that mushroom, and they have a death mushroom. When they eat the death mushroom, they will uh, turn sick, and you can do a shit ton of counter attack damage to them. When they eat the the red mushroom. They will grow gigantic, and they can, like, fucking kill you in two hits. It's insane. They're insanely strong. And there's another new enemy over here, is the Lucky 2. I actually don't know what the fuck, the fuck this guy's name is. Uh, he can drop these guys, you wanna smack them away, because otherwise they'll actually turn into real spines. Lucky 2 foe. G good fucking name. <laughs> God damn. He has two ways of attack. He can attack with these spines, as you saw just now, or he can attack just regularly. By, um, well, by basically just like fucking like falling off his, his own ship. Look out. Okay. Good. Uh, let's uh, get rid of the Lucky 2 foe, because I don't want to fucking deal with even more spinies in the area. Just fuck that. Seriously, fuck that. Hey, get out of here. Cunt. I don't, I don't like any of your kind. I don't think anyone likes any of their guy. Oh, okay. I mean,. Fucking up is prone to happen. Hey, it's Baby Mar. Baby Mar, get some power. Get shit power. It's shit power though. Baby Lou, you leveled up as well. How about you get some power as well? Get some good power. Nope, only one power. Oh well. Try, tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, oh shit, there's a bean. I swear to God, man, this. Oh shit. Right. <laughs> I yell about the bean, and then I don't even grab the bean. There we go. There's the bean. Beans, like I said last episode, will be used for something fairly important. There's another bean spot over here. There's a lot of bean. There's a lot of, a lot of fucking beans in this area. You gotta put the beans on it. Put the, put the beans all over them. All over the place. Put them all over. Get 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 the spines. Get, get, kill them. Uh, kill them. Get the hammer. Get the hammer. Get the preemptive strike. God damn it, I wanted to get a preemptive strike. I don't think we haven't even... I don't think we haven't even shown that off yet. One thing I want to mention, by the way, sometimes they can jump twice. It's it, it just, like... It depends on when you hit them. Like, if you hit them while they're still kind of in the air, you'll whack them back, which basically gives them, like, a second opportunity to attack you. So, do keep that in mind. It's a pretty good strategy to hit them, like, earlier than you usually would, just because, well, then you're just gonna be done with the battle a lot earlier. Because then you can uh, counter attack him twice, which is basically just like two times attacking. You got a green shell. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and attack this fucking button. Oh shit. There's a lucky two over there. Oh, like a lucky two foe. F good name, by the way. The fucking fantastic name. I seriously love it. What's inside here? It's nothing. It's a refreshing herbs too. I hate salads. Fuck you. I don't, li I don't like refreshing herbs. Get, get that info. Oh, this is the other attack he can do. He can basically just jump off his fucking UFO and uh, attack you. I don't know the timing behind that, so I, I fucked it up a lot. And there we go. That's the Lucky Tufo done. Now we can go off into the next area, which probably has another Lucky Tufo. Yep, there we go. Oh shit, Mar is leveling up. It's time to upgrade his defense. Get that 5 defense in there. Fuck yeah. That is a quality fucking level up, dude. Can we get that again with Luigi? Can we can we get a quality uh, speed upgrade? One, yeah, that's quality, I guess. Some form of quality, good quality, nah. But it's some form of it. All right. Well, anyway, there's an electric barrier over there, and we have to take care of that. But first, we have to take care of this fucker. And just fucking show off that. There we go. We have to strike with a hammer. Confuses all enemies. It's kind of funny how that's like the hammer is the only uh, preemptive strike thing that doesn't actually do any damage, but it does do a status status effect of enemies, which I quite like really. I mean, I, I kind of like it better than the regular way of uh, doing the preemptive strike. Cause I mean, doing doing preemptive damage is always great because that will speed up the battle a lot. But being able to actually 
Like, being able to actually detriment the enemies by basically um, just not making them able to attack for a good while is, in my opinion, a lot better. There's a bean there. Uh, we have five beans, I believe. Beans will be used in a shop later. That we're probably not going to be going into until after the Fim Factory. Anyway, let's push those, push those buttons. And... Oh, great. We had to be fast for that, huh? Yeah, I fucked that up. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's that's that guy killed. But now we have to deal with this thing again. And now we can Lug. Come on. It's time for the Lug. And then the Mar. And then what does that do? That... Well, I guess that just brings us to that and makes us able to um, get the babies back to Mario and Lug. Oh, wow. That was... That was some... Quality slowdown, huh? What's behind these boxes, actually? Wait, hold on. I just now realized what, like, those green things. It's like ghosts of toads that are going through there. That's messed up, dude. That is really messed up. What's all the way here? Two buttons? Oh, I guess it just opens up that then. But then I have to wonder what's all the way over here? Nothing. Good. What's all the way over here? A way to get our, our bros back. Now we could go in the right door and continue on until uh, until like the end of the uh, of the entire area. But we're gonna go to the left first, purely because Bean. No, it's not only because Bean. It's all. It's also because well, extra areas mean extra items, means extra stuff that we can use during bosses and heal ourselves with. Oh great, that's a fucking ton of them. Well, how about we use the bro flowers? Look at that. I've always liked the bro flowers as it's just like a... You basically just get to like attack all the enemies at once. It, it doesn't do like that much damage to them all, sure, but it will be able to... At least you attack all of them at once. I don't know, however, though, if that actually knocks out the mushroom out of their hands. I would want to show what those mushrooms do, but I'd rather just not have to risk it, you know? But whatever, let's just keep using the bro flowers. Keep, uh, keep going at them with that. Oh, yeah, I guess that does make them lose the mushrooms that they were holding. I don't know if you can get an excellent with using the fire flowers. I'd imagine that you could. The bro flowers. Sorry. I thought they were actually, you know, called the normal fire flowers. But I guess, I guess these are time-based fire flowers. Then again, the Mario Galaxy fire, flow fire flowers? The Mario Galaxy fire flowers are also time-based. Which I never kind of understood. Cause it's like it would be cool to just be able to like, keep the fire flower the whole way, you know. But whatever, can't have everything. Can't have though. Is an extra room. Oh shit! It's a block. It's a it's a bean as well. Bean. Get the yeah bean. Get the get the block. What does that block do? Oh, something. Press that. Press that. Ah, it's a way to get more coins. Is it a lot of coins though? Yeah, I guess it is a lot of coins, because I am getting like 10 coins with each jump. And it is going faster each time, and eventually... I guess you can just jump with all your characters. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna... I guess that doesn't really work to translate that well. Alright, well hey, 32, that's pretty good. You get like fucking 300 coins from that. That's insane. Well, I guess that only leaves us that other area, and then one more room before, um... A save point, and gee... I, wa I wonder what's gonna come after that, huh? I really want- ooh, more cannonballers. Now, the reason I'm not really showing off the cannonballers yet is because I want to save those for the boss fight. Because with the boss fight, they're gonna be really fucking handy. And there we go, that's another man done. And now there's only one more man! That we didn't even get to attack, I guess. Hey, baby Mar and baby Luke are gonna level up now. Are we gonna do some defense? Yeah, three defense for baby Mar. That's great. Uh, one thing I want to say, by the way, is that if a normal bro dies, uh, he'll just basically get replaced by the baby version of it. Holy shit, a six. I did not even know that sixes were fucking possible. Holy shit. I mean, I, I guess they were, but whatever. Let's get this bean. Yay. And now it's off to the last room. Oh, great. I, I guess we're going to have to do the whole uh, the moving platform thing again. Murder. You know, that's that's fun. At least in the Mario and Luigi games. It's, oh shit, a bean! It's actually fun. Uh, let's get on the... Wow. 
I fucking I suck so bad that I can't even fucking get on the platform before it moves. I am the, po quite possibly the best Mario and Luigi player there has ever been in the entire series. All right, what does that bring us to? That brings us to one bridge, but I can imagine that there isn't a thing over there that will give us uh, the ability. Oh shit! It's an M and another M. Get that M. Oh fuck me. Okay, come on. Yes, go up. Now we can hit that one. Oh, it's coins. Oh, it's coins. Of course it's coins. Alright, now we get- Ooh, mushrooms, huh? That's pretty good. I'm always a fan of mushrooms. Can we get some more stuff? Oh, we can get- a Oh, shit, a one-up mushroom. Dude, that's great. And now it's time for a- go What the fuck just happened to Luke? Luke kind of fucked up there. Uh, I can imagine that we have to go over here with the babies. It's a cute game, and the say gets cute. Oh, like no, I guess I did have to just do this then. And then that makes another bridge appear, and then they can come all the way over here. Is that correct in my assumptions? Am I allowed to? Oh fuck! Well, I guess that happens when you jump on an enemy, huh? Oh well, now that they are taken care of, I can actually go over here and be with the big bros again. And what's behind this door? Well, it should be obvious, because it's right on the map up above there, it's a safe point. And my controller stopped working- Right now? Really? My controller stops working right fucking now? God damn it. I guess it's better to have it happen now than, uh, than, I don't know, in the middle of a fucking boss fight. I get the feeling that's gonna happen at least once, though. Speaking of a boss fight, how about we go and see what's, uh, behind this door? Oh no. It's a man. It's a weird, it's a weird creature that is drinking green juice. Ah, so that's how they get supplied with their energy, huh? A weird fucking worm drinks to him and then transfers it to the things. Pops it in their buttholes. That's good. That is great. Now we're gonna stop this, huh, Mar? Oh, I guess the babies already have an idea. Yeah, go do that. Oh, shit, dude. Now we got an angry man. Oh no. It's time for an area boss. It's the Swiggler. This guy is an asshole. He has 250 HP. So keep that in mind. But we also want to keep in mind though, Cannonballers. The best fucking thing in the entire game. Keep in mind on which bros is first though, X A B Y. Okay, that's good to remember. There we go, 23 damage, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, one thing though, don't actually attack the boss when he's in angry mode. I, I never actually ever do that, because then that happens. Oh no, because then he uh, then he gets angry. You know when that happen. However, I do believe you want to actually knock over his uh, his little drink that he has there. If, if you can, can we even knock that over? I thought we could. Oh no. I shouldn't have done that. I, d I did that on accident. I did that on accident, guys. I did that on accident. Don't get angry at me. Fuck you. Oh, actually, I remember now. Never mind. Um, yeah, I want to go ahead and heal, by the way, because this is going to get a little bit fucking dangerous if I don't. All right. He's going to feed them. The Vim. What is that gonna do, I guess? I, I don't really know what that's gonna- Oh, fuck. I remember now what I had to do. Oh, no. I fucked up. I fucked up completely. That one attacks Mario. The bottom one attacks Luigi. Keep that in mind at all times. Uh, yeah, so... I kind of fucked up there. What you're supposed to do is... Yeah, th those drinks... Well, y you have to use the mushrooms of those, uh, of those guys. And look at that, though. That's a fucking ridiculous amount of damage that you can do against them. When they get all weak and wimpy like that. You don't want them to actually get wimpy like that, though. That's the problem. Uh, another problem is the fact that we are gonna have to deal with this guy like this now. You know what? How about I just, uh, kill a Dr. Shrewd? I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should just go after the Swiggler right now and just do normal attacks, because that's not gonna do that many that much damage. But at, at least I'll be able to... Oh get the fucking DS lag again from the 3D animations. You can't... What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean you're gonna fucking power them up again? God damn it. 
So yeah, this is basically the first boss where you might have some actual tr- oh. Where you might have some actual trouble like I am having right now, but it's, it's mostly just because I'm fucking up. Alright, let's see. I just want the enemies to attack right now, so that they can get their, uh, their mushrooms. I, uh, hope to fucking god, though, that they're not gonna get their good mushroom. There, yes, the bad one. Thank you. For getting the bad one. Oh, two bad ones, actually. Wow. Alright, well... Time to fuck you up and get that drink poison up. Alright, now... I guess I can use another mushroom drop to not waste this turn. Ah, well, there he goes. He drinks the juice, and he becomes weak. And that's really all there's to it. That's really all there's to becoming weak. There, he's also gonna become weak, and probably die from this. Yep, there he goes. Alright, well... Do keep in mind that now, because he has that, that weakness around him, you want to use the cannonballs on him right now, because now he's very weak and he won't actually counterattack you. Alright, A, Y, X, B. Alright. A, Y, X, B. There you go, 77 fucking damage. That is insane, especially when you consider he only has 250 HP. It's, it's really crazy, okay. X, oh wait, X, A, fuck. Alright, it still worked. It, it still worked. I kind of messed up there. Ooh, now he's angry though. And he's gonna give them some drinks because I could not poison the drink because he, because the other Shroob, Dr. Shroob has a strong mushroom, which I guess, I guess we're gonna see now what the strong mushroom does. Ooh, um, yeah, this is one thing you have to keep an eye on. They kind of switch around places. It's still the same, it's still the same ship that will do damage to the bro that he's assigned to. So the original top one will still do uh, damage to Mario if he switches over to the bottom side. Anyway, now I guess it's uh, I guess it's time that we see what a strong mushroom does. It m makes him fucking buff. And now there's a little problem because uh, yeah, he you don't really do that much damage to him. But not not that it really matters because hey, I think one more one more uh, one more go of killing. Killing a, a, a Dr. Shroob and then having him drink. That, that, yeah, that's probably gonna be the boss because, hey, like I said, 250 HP. Only one more Cannonballer should really do it. And that's, that's once again. Cannonballer, insane. Insane bro item. It does so much damage. So, hey, let's take care of the Swiggler the only way that is possible by using a Cannonballer. It's A, B, X, Y. Alright, that's good. That's easy to remember. And there, that should be it. There we go. That's what happens when you kill an area boss, uh, the uh, fucking the game goes insane. You get a lot of stars, and a lot of shit done of fucking experience. Probably gonna level up every single one of my characters. Speaking of leveling up every single one of my characters, um... What are we gonna upgrade? How about we upgrade the stash for Mario? Three stash? That's pretty good. Now we can get more of a discount. Luigi, what are we gonna upgrade for you? I think it's time that we upgrade some power. Oh shit! That is amazing. Alright, baby Mario. What are we gonna do for you? I, I guess some power for baby Mario as well. Oh my god, this is an insane fucking level up cycle. Holy shit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and guess that uh, baby Luigi's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, baby Luigi's gonna fuck it up. Of course he fucks it up. With a fucking singular one. God damn it. Oh well, that was the Swiggler, and now the Vim Factory is, uh, I guess, out of order. But we got the second Cobalt Star Shard, finally. You have collected two Cobalt Star Shards. Oh, gee, who, who is that, I wonder? We have never seen that guy before. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna do the eye trick from uh, Mario 64. Remember, remember those eyes? Those eye enemies? Guys, you're turning faster than B Baby Bowser is turning. Oh no, Baby Bowser swiped both Cobalt Star Shards. That's not good. <laughs> Losers! Thought you could get away from s away with stealing my treasure from my castle, did ya? It's payback time. I'll take my treasure plus whatever you just picked up as compensation. Please, Bowser, let's scram! Kind of similar voices, but kind of not. It's oh shit, it's a Koopa car. Oh no, the Koopa car. What a disaster happened today here. Cruel fate. We finally succeed in recovering the second shard, and now this happens. Shame cycle initiated. We must return to our own time and work our strategy. I, I guess we have to, huh? 
Oh well. Time to go back to our own time and uh, probably have a cutscene in like fucking 20 fucking minutes. Princess Peach's castle. Let's see what's gonna happen over here. Alright, well it, it seems it wants us to go back to Professor Eged, but you know what? How about we save that for the next episode? So in this episode, I th well actually... You know what, I think I actually want to go to the shop. Now that we've completed the the Vim Factory, I actually want to go and see if there's anything new there. And I think that'll be the last thing that we do for this episode, so... How about we go over there and check on our good old buddy Toads. Hello there, Toad Man. Yes, I would love to buy some gear. Do you have any new clothes? Ooh, he does. He have he has a fucking great clothes. Branded slacks. Yes, because uh, apparently Mario and Luigi is teaching little kids now that uh, getting branded clothing means that you're better. Thanks. Oh shit, we get something. Get the coin badge. Increases coins received. Increases experience received. When defeated, when you defeat enemies with attack items. Oh, okay, so that only works when you use bro items. Now you have shroom badge, slightly increased points recovered by using mushrooms in battle. Oh, I mean, I, I guess those are some cool, some cool badges, but I don't really see myself using those ever. How about we uh, see if there are any new items? Yes, there are. There are super mushrooms and mushroom drops. Bro items? Ooh, ice flowers and smash axe. Smash axe is another one of my favorites. Well, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll buy one of each, just so that we can have something to show off in the next episode right away. Probably. Anyway, I suppose that is it, so... Let's go over to the, uh... Ooh. Singular coin, huh? Great, great singular fucking coin and a singular mushroom. I guess it, I shouldn't expect much from blocks that I could already hit from the beginning of the game. But anyway, I think that's a good point to end the episode on, so... Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.